From Monday the 16th of March, for three days, I will be in Coventry uh, and I will be there to represent or help to represent Mr. Damien Ryan, who is a member of For Britain. He uh, was suspended, well actually he sort of left before they pushed him, from his teaching job because he had made some videos in support of myself, Tommy Robinson, uh, and others who had talked about grooming gangs. And he expressed his opinion, and an opinion based on his extensive study of Islamic scripture, that Islamic scripture has a part to play in the debate around grooming gangs, and its influence uh, can be found across Muslim communities, and it includes or amounts to, often amounts to, a contempt for non-Muslims and particularly for non-Muslim girls. These are issues he raised uh, and he had the police at his door not long afterwards uh, inquiring after the well-being of his own children. It's a police state scenario that is beyond, it's, it's shocking even to me. The details of this case are shocking even to me. And the paperwork, what is written in the paperwork, the assumption of the police and uh, other parts of the public sector that to have right-wing politics, and this is mentioned throughout, uh, to have right-wing politics, implies or hints towards or directs towards uh, a, an inability, an unsuitability to be around children. It really is the most horrifying stuff uh, and included in the list of crimes that Mr Ryan is uh, alleged to have committed, not literal crimes obviously, um, are a dislike of Jeremy Corbyn and the Labour Party. This is written in the documents. This is truly, truly left-wing police state uh, showing itself for all to see. So next week I and Father John Dane will be, Father Dane is leading the uh, representation for Damien, I will be helping him. Uh, we will be speaking on Damien's behalf at a tribunal where he is fighting for his professional life. They are seeking to s strike him off, to prevent him from teaching again, denying him his livelihood in other words. So it's it, this is a very important case, and this, you know, it it runs so so wide. It is so it's such a huge problem in the country at the moment, where people are terrified to get involved in politics, to speak their mind, to say what their real opinions are, for fear of losing their jobs. Uh, and this is very very real, and it's a very real threat hanging over us, and is is having an enormous impact on our participation in democracy and therefore our fundamental rights. So these questions are key, and a question I want answered next week is can people express a negative opinion about Islam and still keep a teaching job in this country? That's the fundamental question we are being asked. Uh, he didn't, he hasn't influenced the children in any way, he has an impeccable teaching record. What he has done, all he has done, is express uh, a, a non-complementary view of Islam and the police and the uh, teaching authority now want him to answer for this and indeed the police uh, offered to send an imam around to his house to sort out his views to to correct his thinking if you like about islam police state as i say on show for all to see i will keep you oh i will be speaking to damien in a podcast which will be published on saturday so do make sure to tune into that and i will report back via a video uh, on each night following the proceedings and of course a full report at the end. So stay tuned for that. Uh, wish us luck. We're going to need it. Uh, we are going up against a seriously and strongly and staunchly pro-Islam public sector uh, but we're fighting a good fight. We're fighting for the rights of people to express themselves and to point out the truth. This is, uh, as I say, Mr Ryan's views are not based on bigotry or ignorance. He has studied this extensively. Uh, so stay tuned. I will keep you updated on that.